Hello everyone, I am pleased to present our work learning to shadow hand drawn sketches. This is the joint work with Suo Ruli at Project Hat and Dr. Adam Barkdal at UMBC. In computer graphics, cell shading is hard to get right, because the shadows must preserve binary appearance. It is either lit or not, nothing in between. It would be easily ruined by the smallest consistency. The goal of this paper is to shadow the given 2D line drawings automatically. The network builds the 3D information in latent space. The output of our network is just the pure shadow which can be edited by the artists. With our network, the artists can have a good starting point or a hint to shadow their art. We contribute a novel dataset which consists of 1160 cases of sketch, shadow and mask. But we didn't use masks in this work. We have 26 kinds of discrete lighting directions in this dataset. We use synthetic data to train a light pre-processing deep learning model to normalize the inputted line drawings, making them have the same line width. This is the general workflow of our network. The line drawings are inputted into the encoder first. The lighting directions are embedded by a fully connected layer. We repeatedly add the embedded lighting directions into each stage of the decoder. The final outputs are binary shadows as in our ground truth. We also have two intermediate outputs to facilitate the learning process. Both of them are soft shadows. The final outputs, S1 and S2 from the generator are penalized by mean square error losses. We add a total variation term in the final output loss to encourage smooth shadow boundaries. The input of discriminator is the composition of shadow and line drawing, and the lighting direction. The final objective is the sum of GAN loss and the loss of output S1 and S2. We build a relatively deep decoder to rebuild the 3D information in latent space. Whenever there is an embedded lighting direction inputted, we use film block to enhance the visual reasoning. When there is skipped connections from encoder, squeeze and excitation block is able to filter out the redundant information from encoder. The coordinate channel which is marked as red after concat, is to enable the learning of 3D spatial information. At the end of each stage of decoder, except the final stage, a self-attention layer is added to enhance the holistic visual reasoning. We compare our work with deep normal and sketch to normal. The input of them are line drawings, the same as our input, however, their outputs are normal maps. To compare with our shadows, we render out the normal maps with thresholding at 0.5. Our results have accurate shadows in complex and multi-object line drawings. Also our network learned the stylization of hand-drawn shadows while the others have the appearance that synthetic data has. When the depth of lighting source changes, our results have accurate and apparent shadowing changes. However, deep normal has inaccurate depth appearance in front lighting and side lighting, and sketch to normal suffers from complex line drawings. In back lighting condition, our results have rim light around object boundary, while deep normal and sketch to normal do not. We also compare with the baseline PIX2 PIX and UNIP that trained on our dataset. We can see that PIX2 PIX architecture fails to reason the shadow, and UNIP fails to generate binary shadows. Under the side lighting condition, we compare with a 3D test model ground truth. This picture demonstrates that deep normal has back lighting appearance when it is actually side lighting. Our result is most close to the ground truth and learn the smooth boundary of shadow from hand drawn dataset. Despite the network learned from 26 kinds of discrete lighting directions, it can produce continuous shadows. There are more testing results in the wild in a wide range of style of line drawings. From the ablation study, we can see that, without the proposed modules in our network, the results will either have inconsistency, acne artifacts, or unrealistic shadows. Those are the failure cases and limitation of our work. First, we have slightly different shadows in different size of input. Second, if inputting a local part of an integral line drawing, the network couldn't reason the right shadows. Third, our network suffers with hard surface object. Last but not least, since our output is pure shadow, easy for artists to customize their own artworks like shadows in complex lighting source, have toned shadows in comic style, and concatenating colored line art with shadows. The last image is the original art drawn by an artist. This is another example of our shadowing system applied to reshadow the artistic line drawings. Thanks for your time. Please refer to our GitHub repository for the dataset encode.